right so uh, i hope you guys have uh, referred to uh, understanding the uh, radial interception video and uh, here we are going to continue to uh, do using the hsi and uh, i'll use the same app we are tracker so in this case i will uh, the earlier video had an rmi so in this case we will use a uh, hsi all right standard stuff okay so here we go now uh, before we start off uh, i just want to talk about the needle of course so in this what you have here is in that the uh, needle the rmi is independent and uh, it will always point to the station here the needle you have the control to the needle this is the course needle and you can actually change it all right so you are having the control of this and this is a heading bug just for the <laughs> A reminder basically you know that you have to be on this heading or something and your actual heading right now is 340 for example in this photo I mean this uh, instrument here so this is the thing now in this there's something called the to and fro indicator this white triangle here which shows where are you going are you going towards the station or are you going away from the station suppose this is like this so this if you see if I align it it is telling me the station is ahead of me and if I align the needle like this, it it is telling the station is there, and I am going in this direction, depending on the situation. So this this thing will always point your to and fro uh, towards the station, and it's a to and fro indicator. All right. So now, uh, if you remember the radial interception, understanding radial interception video, if you have gone through it, if you have not, please do. That is going to help you to understand this video as well. So anyway. Uh, the first thing we need to know here is uh, where you are all right so where you are in this instrument is you have to use the course uh, knob to align the needle in such a way that your yellow triangle and white triangle are on the same side and then your tail of the needle is your radial in this it's the same one as an RMI but in this you have to align it yourself to know your position so in this case what is it uh, 160 is your radial and 340 is your heading so this means you're coming in from a south uh, southeasterly direction as you can see here all right now if i change it somewhere here to identify then you just keep rotating and see here approximately somewhere here where both the arrow and the needle is on this i mean the head of the needle and the arrow to and fro arrow is on the same side and then your radial is around about 220 and your uh, the the station is towards your right on a heading of 040 and your current heading is 340 as you can see all right so the first step is done cool that we have to identify where you are second step is in this case we have uh, if you remember where where to turn is the second step so where to turn is if you see the tail of the needle 270 outbound 270 is towards your left correct so you it's you remember it's a left turn all right so now the next step is uh, to set the course to 270 okay 270 is set now the question is what what heading to fly so the heading to fly will be decided okay i'm just going to reduce uh, just cut off the volume so the heading to fly depends on the heading bug which you can just set at top of the bar and start the turn top of this bar simply top of the bar that's all all right so now the aircraft is starting to turn we are already decided that it's going to be a left turn and we are approaching the radial so we can actually continue the turn towards the radial itself because we are quite close as you can see and at that point we will also set 270 maybe i can just hold on so yeah, in, irrespective of uh, we, uh, whether we intercept it correctly or not, that is co that comes with experience or anticipation. I'm just gonna reposition it. All right. So now we have another uh, set of uh, this thing here, uh, where I will again uh, try to just uh, change the position so that. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna pause it. So now first step, we have to find out where we are. Simple. Just al align the needle to know. All right. There, there it is. As you can see our uh, arrows are on one side and the radial we are on a 240 and the station is towards our right side just try to imagine the 
radial interception is all about imagination where you are and your heading is around about 0 to 0 to 4 and this is the heading bug so next step we need to know where to go or which side to turn so as you can see 270 is towards the left of this needle correct so the we have established that it's a left turn second step set this to 270 all right and then set the heading bug to the top of the bar it could be anything say 310 and just continue to fly towards that as you can see we start a left turn cool so this I prefer uh, the HSI more because it's much easier to just know what heading to fly because uh, you just have to fly top of the bar and it's uh, relatively uh, easier than an RMI. Alright, so we have almost uh, intercepted rather so we have, can continue the turn. We have, we have crossed it actually. So it's more about learning the procedure than intercepting here on my uh, video in this one. So let me reposition it and get another example for you guys. Let me actually change this. Let me put it inbound, okay? Or let me just put one, four, zero. Okay, cool. So now, first step again, I will just reposition it so that it uh, is something like this. So first step here is to find out where you are. So you just align, 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 align. Just look for the alignment of the needle. And uh, here it is, approximately like this. Needle is on this, both the arrows are on the same side. Your radial is around about two, zero, zero okay and your current heading though is 090 and as you can see okay z heading is uh, 090 but your radial is 200 okay now you have to see 140 is on which side okay 140 is on your in this case you just see 140 here though it will show you it's on the left side so the simple idea is to turn left but this is in this case what you, I would prefer is travel straight on this and then turn left Alright, so this is a is a case that you, you just will learn with experience, you will get to know once you are good and thorough with instruments. Let me try another mission so that we get a sorted out example maybe. 150, let it be inbound. Alright, so now you see here, uh, first thing we need to find out uh, where we are. So if you align, okay, there it is. Alright, so we are on a radial... Uh, Three uh, two nine or five, I think. Yeah, two nine or whatever. Two nine or zero, and our heading is uh, currently uh, one zero zero. All right, one one zero. Sorry. And uh, so now we need to intercept one five zero inbound. Okay. So the first step here is to know where to turn. All right. So first, when you find out your position, you are on a radial three zero. Uh, uh, sorry, two nine or zero, and uh, your heading. So you are coming in from the west. Okay. So as you can see, you are coming in from the west. So it is actually pointless to do an interception like this. Uh, I don't know why uh, it just comes up. So let us let me try something like this. Okay. So now you see, again we just have to align it to get our needle set. Okay, there it is. We are around about on 180 radial and uh, 360 is uh, the station is at 360 degrees to a uh, reference to us and uh, right now we need a 150 inbound okay so for the first uh, first thing we need to know in inbound where is your with respect to this needle where is your uh, radial so in 150 what happens is you just have to set the opposite the course has to be set opposite all right as you can see here 150 and you just set here as 330 okay 330 now what is the heading to fly is top of the needle top of the bar as you can see if it fly top of the bar we will intercept in inbound whenever you try to fly inbound it is important that you set the opposite radial okay so that makes things much easier is what I feel so that's how I do it so you might have a different way of doing it but that's alright so it is more about understanding about the HSI alright so we are turning perfectly towards the this thing and I think uh, we will be uh, already on the radial so it's it's quite fast I'm I'm uh, monitoring I'm flying at 230 knots in this one so yeah alright so let me do another inbound example so that it actually gets really really clear 0 9 or 0 
inbound okay now uh, let me just move it around so that uh, okay cool now zero nine or zero inbound so what's our current position we need to find so just it did align but it didn't align as we required okay there it is approximately ah, there we go so it is on a zero five zero radial and uh, station is towards uh, two three zero okay and our current heading is one five zero now inbound so first thing you need to imagine where you have to go where you are currently you're on a zero five zero radial and your heading is there so you're coming in from a northeasterly sector all right as you can see you're coming in from a northeasterly sector now now 090 inbound means first of all you need to find out first of all you need to set the opposite 090 set all right now just set the heading bug to the top of the bar as you can see and then just continue since it's a right turn here and just continue and as you can see it will start turn. so top of the bar is the more important uh, thing to understand so as we are flying towards the course inbound you just think opposite all right inbound when you think your turns become opposite and uh, your uh, it's, the bar becomes much more opposite because it's easier to find out where to turn i can actually just uh, hold the heading here because we have not yet intercepted so i can just just set some 250 maybe stop it there and once the bar is almost about to move I'll go on 270 let me do another example inbound inbound because inbound I'm sure is much trickier because outbound is easier do watch the understanding radial interception uh, video please do that then this will all be very clear alright let's go for this one 120 inbound now I'm not, not gonna show you the map alright so the first step we need to know where we are so we just go around with this and align as you see we are aligned here and we have found out both arrows on the same side and we have found out that we are on a radial 010 and we are heading is 1900 coming from the top north early direction all right and we have to intercept 120 inbound so that really doesn't make sense again because we are coming in and it, it, we won't get a proper interception so i'm going to place you somewhere here ah, okay i was going to tell i was not going to show you the map all right so i i don't think i don't think this app has an uh, um, way where i can actually set up myself beforehand so let me okay it's putting me again somewhere there only let me try again new mission okay so let's try this okay so cool, cool. this one will help us so now you see uh, first thing first step find out where you are okay there we are we are on a radial 085 our heading is 265 okay so we are heading towards the station on a radial 085 okay so now we need to know 085 if you see it's towards the left 120 is towards the left but the first step you have to do for an inbound is set the opposite course set the opposite course as i have set 12 i mean set 120 radial and 300 is the opposite that i have set now you can see the heading to fly is just simply the top of the bar all right so you can keep a little here and then release and then start a turn little to the left as you can see if i fly left i'll be on the radial anytime so i'll maintain this heading and then once when so once i'm approaching the uh, radial i will start a turn back onto the radial So yeah, so it's all about imagining. Inbound is to set opposite course. Okay, that's all about it. And I hope you guys have understood from this. And if you guys have any any doubts on this, do not hesitate to comment below and ask me. Or you can even actually send me a personal message or write me an email to planesoverhead at hotmail dot com. I will surely get back. And uh, instrument flying is actually a very very important thing in uh, any sort of. Uh, uh, flying that you're looking up towards commercial and uh, further on because it is the one that emphasizes uh, to emph emphasizes a pilot's uh, strength to be able to handle situations all right so now we are almost uh, the needle will start moving anytime i'm sure 
So once the needle starts moving, I will set to the heading. I'll already set it. It's all right. I'll set the heading 300, and I will start a turn. All right. Let me just start the turn. Maybe it'll just be there. Uh, it's already there. So as you get closer to the station, your needle is very sensitive. So we were almost two dmi, right? And the speed is high. So. Unfortunately, on the video, I wouldn't, I haven't been able to intercept so that I could show you properly. Though, I mean, it's all right. I think uh, understanding the procedure is much more important. So, yeah, as you can see, we're almost inbound on the radial one two zero. So, I hope you guys have understood it, and uh, do watch the radial underst understanding radial interception video. You will just uh, get it in one shot. I'm sure. This video was see now. You see, this is cone of silence. By the way, nav. So. At this point, overhead there is no uh, uh, working of the VOR signals. So that is this is cone of silence. I think you haven't seen this before, so it's all right here. And now we have just changed. So anyway, uh, so that's all on this video, and uh, we will do DME arcs maybe on the next video. And uh, please do uh, write any uh, query that you have in the comment section below. And uh, if you like the video, do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share the video, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have uh, got this thing right. And that's all for now. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Happy landings.